I absolutely love and adore the Kung Fu Panda franchise. Um, probably one of my favorite, you know, animated franchises ever. I've loved the first one for a lot of years. For some reason, I delayed in seeing the the sequels, but uh, two I think is the best of them. Three I think is one that's needing a lot more credit. I thought it ended off on a fantastic note. Uh, which brings in the question of, uh, you know, the necessity of this film, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but I've even enjoyed what I've seen of the uh, spin-off shows as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, three left off in a really satisfying full circle way. You know, I, I question the necessity for this too. Um, did we need this? Maybe not. But is it an unpleasant experience? Is it, an, you know, an unfitting addition? Not fully. Um, it still, I think, earns its place and it still feels at least on par for the most part with those three other films. While it may not be at the top of my list of the franchise, I think, again, it is at least in that conversation and, you know, there's no, like, n you know, noticeable drop in quality necessarily or anything like that. Sorry for the camera shift there. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I know people have been complaining about the lack of the uh, Furious Five in this movie. Um, well, I don't mean to speak in realism for Kung Fu Panda, uh, but, you know, in realistic terms to the, you know, the world that they're in, uh, they wouldn't be on, like, every mission together now that Poe's become, you know, their, their master and, you know, the full-on dragon warrior and everything he's realized with, uh, Igwe and stuff like that. Um, I, you know, I, I miss them too, but I think it still made sense enough you know, as I explained, they're on, you know, different missions and stuff like that. Um, so they have this new character played by Aquafina, um, Shen. Um, she is this, uh, you know, thief and uh, leads them to, like, a bigger city, you know, in another uh, region um, where he faces off with a chameleon played by Viola Davis. And uh, I don't know what the internet's problem with Aquafina is, but I gotta say, I, I've always liked her reasonably well in everything I've seen her in, from, uh, you know, Shang-Chi to uh, Renfield... Um, and I think, uh, I think this is my favorite, like, at least voice work of hers yet. Um, just in her migration as well. But I think Shen was a, you know, worthy new character in the franchise. And if they do ever make a fifth one, I look forward to seeing more of her alongside Poe. I actually think they developed a really nice dynamic. Um, another big thing is that they tie back to Ian McShane's character, Ty Long, from the first movie in this one. Um, it didn't feel that forced either. It fit with the plot of, uh, Viola Davis's villain. Um who I think is a pretty, you know, unique villain compared to the past few. Uh, you know, she does pretty well in that role, too. And uh, Ian McShane's Ty Long, I think, is used in a fitting way. And there is a bit of substance to, you know, him and Poe seeing each other again, which is kind of nice. Well, if, like, more of uh, Lord Heron, but they didn't, you know, feel, probably feel like paying, uh, you know, Gary Oldman to come back for that cameo. Um, but still, it was a nice tie back with Ty Long, anyhow. And the movie is still full of uh, some really enjoyable and awesome, you know, animated action sequences and chases. It just is a lot of fun still. And I think it's definitely the most consistent animated franchise over the past, you know, like 20 years or so. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like I guess thought about Kung Fu Panda 4. While it's not at the top of the franchise for me, it's another one I'll enjoy watching whenever I do rewatch them. Which uh, will definitely occur. So yeah, if I had to rate this one, I'd rate it like a, you know, B, a solid B. I know you guys thought about it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.